Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering three-dimensional array, matrix addition, matrix multiplication, and transpose of a matrix. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Before starting this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First, I will explain program for three-dimensional array. For example, if you consider two-dimensional array. In two dimensional array, it contains only two dimension, where first dimension represent rows and second dimension represent columns. That means total I can store two into two. That means I can store four elements. Let elements be one, two, three, four. This is how two dimensional array looks like. But in three dimensional array, it contains three dimensions. This is an example of three dimensional array. Here I given a of two into two into two. That means total I can store two into two four and four into two. That is eight. I can store eight elements. Let elements be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is how we represent three-dimensional array. I will explain three-dimensional array program. At first, I written hash include a shadow dot h. After that, I written void main. Inside void main, I written int a, where a is array name. Inside square brackets, I written two into two into two, where these two represents first dimension, these two for second dimension, and these two for third dimension. This represents three-dimensional array. Two into two, four, and four into two, eight. Total, I can store eight elements in this three-dimensional array. Let eight elements be one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the eight elements that I am going to store in this three-dimensional array. I want to print output along with index numbers. So for that purpose, here I took three for loops. This first for loop is for first dimension. Second for loop is for second dimension, and third for loop is for third dimension. Here I given size as two. That means it will store two elements. First element is in index number zero, and second element in index number one. So here I return for int i equal to zero semicolon i less than two. Semicolon plus plus i. Similarly, for the second dimension, I return int j equal to zero, j less than two plus plus j. And for this third dimension, I return here int k equal to zero, k less than two and plus plus k. Inside this, we need to write print f open double quotations a of percentage d for first dimension, next percentage d for second dimension and percentage d for third dimension. That equal to percentage d. This is for element. First dimension is i. So this is for i and the second dimension is for j and third dimension is for k is equal to percentage d this is for element these are the elements present in this three dimensional array now i want to print this element so for that purpose i written here percentage d that belongs to a of i j k will be printed as output by writing this program i will get output as this is output for this three dimensional array we open three for loops so that we need to close this three for loops and at last this curly bracket is for void main this is how we write three dimensional array program next i will explain program for transpose of a matrix before that you need to know what is transpose of matrix for example this is two cross two matrix it contains elements like 1 2 3 4 it contains two rows and two columns so it is two cross two matrix now i want to find transpose for this matrix let this matrix be a now i want to find a transpose transpose is nothing but we need to represent columns as rows for example this is first column This first column contains one and three. Now we need to represent this column as rows. So I need to write here one, three, and similarly second column as second row, two, four. Now we call it as transpose of matrix. I will explain program for transpose of a matrix. Here I written int a, where a is array name, and inside square brackets I written two, where these two represent rows and these two represent columns. Two into two. That means total I can store four elements. Let four elements be one, two, three, four. These are the four elements: one, two, three, four. Where this zero represent first row, and this zero represent first column. Similarly, this one represent second column, and this one represent second row. Here I written a of zero into zero. That means value which is present in first row and first column. Will be printed as output, so I'll get output as one. And similarly, zero one. That means value which is present in second row, first column, will be printed as output. So I'll get output as a of zero one equal to two. And similarly, a of one zero equal to three, and a of one one equal to four. I want to print output like this. Let int i represent rows, and int j represent columns. Here total there are two rows and two columns, where this row starts with zero and end with one. Similarly, column start with zero and end with one. Here I took two for loops. This for loop is for row, and this for loop is for column. Here rows and columns starts with zero and ends with one. So here I written here int i equal to zero, i less than two, i plus plus. Similarly, j equal to zero, j less than two, and j plus plus. Inside this I written print f a of 
percentage d this percentage d is for row i and similarly this percentage d is for column j that equal to percentage d this percentage d is for value in order to get output as value i need to write a of ij by writing this i will get output as a of 0 0 equal to 1 a of 0 1 equal to 2 a of 1 0 equal to 3 and a of 1 1 equal to 4 now i want to find transpose of a matrix in order to store transpose of a matrix i need to take another matrix int b and size as 2 cross 2 semicolon in order to store transpose here i took int b size as 2 cross 2. for example this is our matrix that is 1 2 3 4 i should get transpose as 1 3 2 4 similarly take two for loops whatever the for loops that you took before you take same for loops transpose is nothing but we need to interchange rows and columns so for that purpose i written here b of ij is equal to a of ji now in order to print output for that purpose again we need to write two for loops for of inside this you need to write print f double quotations b of percentage d percentage d is equal to percentage d slash n double quotations close comma i comma j comma b of ij by writing this entire code you will get output as this is output this is output for transpose of a matrix guys you need to remember one main formula that is b of ij is equal to a of ji this is formula in order to find transpose of a matrix next to c program for addition of two matrices let two matrices be matrix a and matrix b this example the two matrices b matrix a and matrix b this both are two cross two matrix that means it contains two rows and two columns i want to add this matrix a and matrix b and i want to store this result in matrix c this program this is matrix a and this is matrix b both are two cross two matrices matrix a contains elements they are one two three four so here I written 1, 2, 3, 4 and matrix B contains elements that is 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I want to add these two matrices and then I want to store this result in matrix C. So here I given C as 2 cross 2 matrix. Here total there are two rows and two columns. Row starts with 0 and ends with 1. 0 and 1 are two rows and 0 and 1 are two columns. So here I took two for loops. One is for rows and another one is for columns. And here I given condition that is into i equal to 0, i less than 2 and i plus plus. Meaning of this is row starts with 0 and ends with 1. And similarly here I written for int j equal to 0, j less than 2 and j plus plus. This is for column and inside this I written printf a of percentage d into percentage d is equal to percentage d. This is for row, this is for column and this is for result. By writing this code I will get output as a of 0 0 equal to 1 that means value which is present in first row and first column that is 1. And similarly value which is present in first row and second column that is 2 and similarly value which is present in second row first column that is 3 and similarly value which is present in second row second column that is 4 i'll get this as output by writing this code my matrix a is printed on my output screen similarly i want to print matrix b so for that purpose again we need to take same for loop one is for row and another one is for column i took two for loops which i took before and inside this i written printf b of percentage d percentage d is equal to percentage d slash n comma i comma j comma b of ij by writing this code matrix b is printed on my output screen now i want to add these two matrix and i want to store this result in matrix c so for that purpose again we need to take same two for loop and inside this we need to write c of ij i is for row and j is for column c of ij is equal to a of ij plus b of ij that means i am adding matrix a and matrix b and I am storing this result in matrix C. Now by writing this code, addition of this matrix A and matrix B is stored in matrix C. Now I want to print this matrix C. Now I want to add this matrix A and matrix B and then I want to store this result in matrix C. By writing this code, addition of matrix A and matrix B is stored in matrix C. Now I want to print this matrix C. So for that purpose again I need to take same two for loops and inside this I need to write printf c of percentage d percentage d is equal to percentage d this percentage d is for row i and this percentage d is for column j and this percentage d is for value which is present in rows and columns so by writing this code i will get output as addition of two matrices that is matrix a and matrix b so i will get result as 1 plus 5 that is 6 2 plus 6 that is 8 and 3 plus 7 that is 10 and 4 plus 8 that is 12 this is output this is how we perform addition of two matrices next matrix multiplication 
This is same as matrix addition except here for matrix addition we took two for loops but for matrix multiplication we need to take three for loops. Here you need to take another for loop that is for of int k equal to 0, k less than 2 and k plus plus. Inside this we need to write c of ij plus equal to a of ik into b of kj b of kj and here you need to write before for loop k you need to write c of ij is equal to 0 rest everything is same same program which, which you have written for matrix addition except here you need to take three for loops and inside this you need to write c of ij plus equal to a of ik into b of kj this is program for matrix multiplication by writing this i will get output as this is output for matrix multiplication. 